climate change, the migration crisis, COVID-19 and military might. Just some of the priorities outlined by the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen in her annual State of the European Union speech. Maeve McMahon spoke to the President shortly after her address. In what state is the European Union? The question that the European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen tried to address and answer today in her annual State of the Union speech. It's the second time she had the opportunity to do so and these speeches are normally a tradition here and a way for the Commission to outline what they've done in the past year and what they plan to do for the next. As you can probably imagine, a big focus of her speech was of course the pandemic. But she struck a positive tone saying that Europe could now be confident but not complacent. But when it came to that vaccine rollout, they were pushing ahead on the global stage with 70% of the adult population already vaccinated. She also pointed out a number of issues that the EU together as 27 member states needed to work on when it comes to defence, for example, proposing a defence union and signing a declaration with NATO and hosting a defence uh, meeting with the French president Emmanuel Macron a little bit later in the year. She also spoke about migration putting pressure on EU member states to sign off on a migration and asylum pact that was put on their tables already last September. And also, she spoke about an EU CHIPS Act. Take a listen to what that's all about. So I was specifically focusing on the semiconductor. Indeed, that is a field where Europe had a lot of leadership, but while worldwide demand is growing, uh, the production in Europe is decreasing and here we really have to act. We have to pull uh, our forces together and that's what we're going to do with the European um, CHIPS Act that we're going to bring forward, bring all the stakeholders together. We have, for example, um, outstanding research with IMAC in Belgium. We have the machinery and we have the production. The importance is now really to bundle our forces, forces scale up and to get better in that field because uh, the semiconductors are crucial for the competitiveness and also the independence of our single market. So Ursula von der Leyen, the European Commission President, speaking to me earlier about her plans to make Europe more technologically sovereign. But MEPs, as you can imagine here, were pretty critical with some green MEPs saying that her speech wasn't green enough, the socialist MEP saying there wasn't enough social Europe in her speech, and some of her own MEPs, some MEPs from the European People's Party, her very own family, saying that she's gone too green and too left-wing for their liking. So not an easy task for Ursula von der Leyen, with all eyes on her, of course, tonight in Strasbourg.